Hello and welcome back to the Sports Sermon. I'm Dylan Staggy. I'm Jason Daddy. And I'm Dan Major. And we are back today to talk about the Tennessee Titans. So, last year, the Titans finished 9-7, and seven, in my opinion, an overachieving season with a solid young team, including wins over the Packers, Broncos, Chiefs, and Texans. Marcus Mariota had a great season, throwing 26 touchdowns and 9 interceptions, Without a number one wide receiver, Rashard Matthews, their number one guy, and I don't think by any stretch anyone thinks that he's a number one wide receiver on an NFL team. DeMarco Murray also had a great season, rushing for 1,287 yards and scoring nine touchdowns. But let's move into the depth chart for this year. Jason, let's talk about the offense. What do you have? Okay, so I like the Titans offense. They got Marcus Mariota and Matt Castle. Uh, at their quarterbacks, I love Mariota. Running backs, you got Demarco Murray and Derrick Henry, the best, t- one of the best tandems in the league. I ranked him number three, I think, in our one we did a while ago. Receiver wise, they finally give Mariota people to throw to, and Eric Decker, Corey Davis, Rashard Matthews, and Tajay Sharp, and then tight end Delaney Walker, and then on your offensive line, they're led by Taylor Lewan and Jack Conklin. So really, the Titans offense is finally developing, and the GM finally gave Mariota people to people to pass the ball to, and the Titans offense is going to be good this year. I love the offense for the Titans, but the defense is not looking too hot. On the defensive line, they do have Jarrell Casey, one of the best defensive linemen in the NFL. Also, Sylvester Williams and Daquan Jones, not really great NFL starters. Uh, at the linebackers, Derek Morgan, Wesley Woodyard, Avery Williamson, and Brian Arakpo. At uh, cornerbacks, Logan Ryan, LaShawn Sims, Adoree Jackson, their new first-round pick, and Bryce McCain. And at safety, Denora Searcy and Jonathan Cyprian. So on this Titans defense, just a lot of old guys and a lot of guys with not really enough talent. The secondary just isn't great at all. If you look at those cornerbacks, Logan Ryan's a solid cornerback, but beyond that, LaShawn Sims is... Adoree Jackson ready to be a contributing NFL cornerback. Bryce McCain's not anything special. So I'm not a fan of the Titans defense this year. Let's throw it to Dan for the special teams. Special teams guru. <laughs> uh, special teams is looking pretty average this year for the Titans. Uh, everyone's returning. Uh, Brett Kern at punter, Ryan Suckup at kicker, and Eric Weems will be, will be returning punts and kicks. All right, so let's now move into the schedule. We're going to go game by game and say if the Titans are going to win or lose and come up with the records at the end. So first, week one, they have a home game versus Jason's Oakland Raiders. Jason, how do you think that one turns out? Um, the Raiders are going to win that one pretty handily, and it, I think the Titans start off at a loss. Uh, yeah, Raiders are a much better team. I have a loss here. Yep. That makes three of us a loss for the Titans in Week 1. In Week 2, they travel to Jacksonville to play the Jaguars. Jason, what do you think about that? I know you love the Jaguars. Yeah, I think the Jaguars can start off slow, though. And I think that uh, the Jags unfortunately lose and the Titans get their first win. Uh, I think the Jaguars be all right this year, but I still think they will beat the Titans. Yeah, I'm not huge on the Jaguars, but I do think they split this series with the Titans and get the home win. In week three, they have an, they go back home to play Seattle. Um, Jason, what do you think about that one? I have them taking another loss. Hard game against the Seahawks, so I think they start off 1-2. and two. Yep, starting off 0-3 for me. Uh, Seahawks defense will be way too much for Mariota. That makes uh, two of us stand in 0-3. Uh, I think they take a loss for versus the Seahawks. But that's the end of their losing run as they start a big winning streak after this. All right. I have a win against the Texans in week four. Like you said, I think there's a big winning streak coming. So, yeah, I think they started off week four. Yep, big winning streak here at Houston. I have a win. Yeah, I'm not big on Houston this year. Uh, I think the Titans get a win on the road and sweep the Texans this year. So, in week five, they travel to Miami to play the Dolphins. Jason, what do you think? Uh, who do you think comes out on top of this one? Another win for the Titans. Yep, I also have a win. Uh, Titans, much better team. Yep, Dolphins not looking too hot this year. Uh, Titans, a solid squad. 
Uh, Mariota and the offense too much for Miami. In week six, they come back home to play the Indianapolis Colts. Jason, what do you think about that one? Titans get the win, not close, and the Titans blow out the Colts' bad defense. I have a win here for the Titans. I'm not huge on the Colts this year. I do like the Colts this year, but I do think they split with the Titans. Uh, Titans get the home win against the Colts. In week seven, they start their first of the back-to-back bye weeks when they play the Browns. Jason, what do you think about that one? Win. I also have a win. Browns will be better, but not enough. I agree with Dan. Browns should have a 4-12 and season this year, but not enough to be a solid squad in the Titans. Then they go on bye and return in week eight for a home game against the Baltimore Ravens. Jason, who think comes out on top? I like the Titans again, getting their fifth straight win in my schedule. Yep, another win here for the Titans. Yep, five straight for me also. Uh, not huge on the Ravens this year. Titans get the win. In Week 9, uh, the Titans are home again versus the Cincinnati Bengals. Jason, who wins that one? I like the Bengals in this one. I think they'll come out on top. I like the Titans here. Uh, Bengals... I think that it'll, it'll be a close game, but Titans definitely get this one. Yeah, I also like the Titans. Um, after having a pretty easy schedule the last few weeks, playing at the Browns, a bye, and versus the Ravens, I think they get a win versus the Bengals. In Week 10, they travel to Pittsburgh to play the Steelers. The Steelers a tough squad this year. Jason, who do you think wins that one? I think the Steelers win this one. Dropping the Titans down for two straight, and so then, <clears throat> sorry, and then they'll get back on their winning tear in just a second. Uh, I also have the Steelers in this one. I don't think it'll be close. Yeah, Big Ben, Le'Veon Bell, and Antonio Brown, way too much for that bad Titans defense. Um, take a loss at the Steelers. And week 11, the Titans travel to Indianapolis to play the Colts. Jason, who do you think comes out on top there? Another win for the Titans as they sweep the Colts. Uh, I have the Colts splitting with every single team in their division this year, so a loss here for the Titans. I like the Colts in this one. At home, they get the win, and the Titans lose two straight for me. In Week 12, they are back home to play another division team in the Houston Texans. Jason, who wins that one? I've got a win for the Titans again. They beat the Texans. Texans are going to really struggle this year. Yep, not high on the Texans. I have a win here for the Titans. Yep, I think the Titans sweep the Texans this year and get the win in Week 12. In Week 13, they have a tougher contest as they travel to Arizona to play the Cardinals. Jason, who wins that one? I have got a loss. I think that Palmer and Fisher will get back on track and beat the Titans. I like the Cardinals this year. This is a loss for the Titans. Yeah, the Cardinals have a bounce back year and beat the Titans at home in Week 13. In Week 14, the Titans have their third bye week of the season when they travel to San Francisco to play the 49ers. Jason, who comes out on top? Easy win for the Titans. Uh, Yep, Titans. Yeah, like I said, their third bye week of the season easily get the win versus the Niners. In Week 15, they are back home to play the Los Angeles Rams. Jason, who wins that one? I think the Rams are really going to struggle this year. They might be the worst team after the Jets in the NFL, so I like uh, the Titans again. Yeah, Rams aren't very good this year. I have a win for the Titans. Um, I do like the Rams a little bit more than both of you guys this year, but... I do have a win for the Titans, a home game, and an important one as they'll be fighting for a playoff spot. In Week 16, they're home again to play the Jags to finish off the season. Jason, who do you think comes out on top in the last game for the Titans? I think that the Jags actually win this. I think they split it, but I think the Titans finish their year 10-6 and and win the AFC South. Yeah, I have a loss here for the Titans. I've said I'm... Skeptical on the Jaguars, but I think they pull this one out. I have a win for the Titans at home versus the Jaguars, and also have them at a 10-6 and finish. I'm not super high on the Titans. Their defense is just atrocious, but that schedule is just insanely easy 
for the Titans this year. Dan, what did you have them finishing? I have nine and seven. All right, so let's move into the headlines now. So, Jason, what is your headline for this Titans upcoming season? Mine's just take the next step. They've developed, they developed, and now it's time to get into the playoffs and try to win a game. I have playoffs or bust. I think they should go for the playoffs, and that's basically what your goal is in this year. Mine's going to be ride the offense. The Titans have one of the worst defenses, but a great offense with Mariota um, looking great, uh, the, one of the best running back tandems, and finally some weapons for Mariota to throw it to. They're going to need a lot of offensive production this year to make up for the defense, and I think they will get it. But our top five for today is going to be our top five running backs in the AFC South, uh, as the Titans are in the AFC South and have a great running back tandem. So we thought we'd rank the top five running backs in the AFC South this year. Jason, you want to start off at number five? I want Derrick Henry at number five. I think he's the best backup. And since there's only four teams, I think he's the best backup in the AFC South. Yep, best backup here. I went with Derrick Henry also. I went with Frank Gore at number five, uh, getting a little old. And um, I think he'll, again, go down in production this year, even though he is still um, moving at age 34. Uh, yeah, at number four, I went Lamar Miller. I think he is the worst starter in the division. And so that's why he comes in at four. Yeah, as Dylan said, Frank Gore is getting older. I have him at four. At my number four, I'm going to go with Derrick Henry, uh, the best backup, but I do think he's a little bit better than Frank Gore. Jason, who did you have at three? At three, I had Frank Gore. You guys talked about him. I think he's getting older, but I don't know. I just feel like he'll be fine again. He just seems to keep try, telling Father Time that he's not done. I have Leonard Fournette here at three, the rookie. I am high on him this year, but Jason, obviously a lot higher. At number three, I'm going to go with Lamar Miller. I think he'll be better with a better passing game this year. Still rush for 1,000 yards with that atrocious Brock Osweiler experiment. Uh, Jason, who'd you have at two? I had Leonard Fournette. I know you guys might think it's a little high, but I love Fournette. I think he'll be a top five running back for fantasy uh, owners this year. I think he's about to ball out in Jacksonville. Uh, I have Lamar Miller at two. Uh, he's been great lately, and I like him. <laughs> Analysis <laughs> from Dan. <laughs> All right, and my number two, I'm going to agree with Jason and Leonard Fournette. I'm not huge on Lamar Miller, and Frank Gore is just too old. Fournette should have a solid year in Jacksonville. At number one, I think it's pretty consensus to Marco Murray. Uh, best running back, one of the best in the NFL, and really just going to help carry this Titans offense. Yep, DeMarco Murray at one. That makes three of us. Murray having a down year in Philadelphia, but bounced back in a big way in Tennessee last year after his great years with the Cowboys. All right, so what's coming up next for the Sports Sermon Thursday, which is today we posted the Titans. Friday, we've got our free agent fits tomorrow. We went through 15 free agents and talked about where they, we think good fits are for them. Also, check out Dylan's article on WordPress about the sim a similar topic. Saturday, we're going to be breaking down the Jaguars, and then their next week is a mystery as free agency has begun. Yeah, we'll have a lot of free agency news for you once that clock turns midnight on July 1st. So, um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. And if you want to see the rest of our NFL season previews, along with our free agency content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see every time we post a new video or a new article on our website, make sure you uh, go to that Twitter account in our bio uh, and uh, hit that follow button. So thank you guys for listening, and we will see you tomorrow.